Hey guys, it's Christian from Takani Bike. I want to talk a little bit about battery charging and battery care. So the battery is really the heart component of your bike. It's a really critical component and it's also the most expensive component. So looking after your battery, charging it properly and making sure that it's working alright and well positioned really goes a long way and extends the lifetime of your battery. Charging a Takani bike is really not a job for children. Make sure you as a grown-up, you charge the bike and you stay in control of charging. If you have any detailed question about the charging procedure, please refer to the user manual. Everything is well described inside. To charge your bike, take the power socket, plug it into your wall socket, switch on and energize. So you see the green light comes on, that means the charger is active. Make sure that the bike is switched off when you're charging. Turn the handlebar to get access to the charging port on the left hand side. Your charging plug is coded, so you see here it has a little notch and this space needs to line up with this little bump in the charging socket. Open the dust cover, plug in the charger and then your charger light goes from green to red. Red means the bike is charging. When the bike is fully charged, the LED will turn back to green. Don't worry too much to leave the bike on the charger for too long. When the green LED light goes on and when the battery is fully charged, the charger will switch off. When your bike is charged, disconnect the charger and make sure that you close the dust cap. Your battery is located here behind this cover in the center of the frame. From time to time, make sure that the battery is in good shape, is not dirty and is well positioned. To check that, just open the cover Take two bolts out and pop the cover off. Don't be scared, they're clips and it just pops off like that. So the battery should always be well positioned here and it should be held down by these two um, rubber straps. They're nice and tight and the battery should be nice and tight as well. If your bike is heavily soiled and dirty, and let's be, let's be honest, it will happen from time to time, it's advisable to take the battery out just to make sure that everything is alright. So what you do is, as I said, you take the cover off, you have access to the battery and then from the back you remove these two straps and you bring them to the side. Take the fuse out, just pull it back, open it up, take the fuse. In order to take the battery out you need to remove two wires, the charging wire and the discharge wire. Both are located here. The discharge wire is the yellow so-called XT60 plug. Just unplug that. You also need to unplug um, the charging wire. So that's the small cable here with the um, black connector. The way how you disconnect it is you press this lever down and then you pull this part out. You see the charging cable is quite small, so if you apply force, you may damage it. Just make sure that you press down this lever and unplug, like this. To take the battery out, best remove both covers on both sides. Then you reach through, turn the battery and then you pull it out. Check the battery, make sure there's no deformation, that it's nice and clean. When it's wet or anything, give it a good wipe with a, with a cloth. Yeah, make sure that the connectors are good and are not corroded. If you have any issues with the battery, please let us know as soon as possible. This is how we assemble our bikes. If you have any questions or feedback, how we can do things better, please let us know. And always, when you use a Takani dirt bike, please make sure you wear complete and approved protective equipment. Make sure that you ride on private ground, on private property, Make sure that you ride off-road and that you monitor and supervise the rider at all times. If you were happy with our video and if you want to know more about new products or tips and tricks, maintenance, service for our Takani bikes, please like and subscribe to our channel.